Hey everyone, Ryan from Foxtech here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google Drive link on your iPhone to share files. Let's get right to it. There are two main ways you can share files that are already uploaded to your Google Drive. First, you can share a file with a specific person if you know their Gmail address. For example, if it's a colleague or someone from work and you have their Google email, this is a great option. All you have to do is locate the file in your Google Drive, tap on the three dots next to it, and then hit the share icon. From there, you can enter the Gmail address of the person you want to share it with. Once you do that, Google Drive will send them an email letting them know they have access to the file you've shared. Now, if you want to share with a larger group or anyone who has the link, that's possible too. Again, start by locating the file in Google Drive and tapping on the three dots next to it. But this time, instead of tapping Share, you'll tap on Manage Access. This is where you'll be able to create a shareable link. What's important here is that you can control what people with this link can do with your file. The most common option is to set them as a viewer. This means they can look at the file, maybe download it, but they can't make any changes. So if you're sharing holiday photos or something similar, this is usually what you want. Another option is to let them comment on the file. This is useful in more collaborative settings, like if you're working on a project with colleagues. They'll be able to leave feedback but won't be able to edit the actual file. And finally, there's the editor option. This is the most powerful setting, and it means the person can not only view and comment, but also make changes to the file itself. They could rearrange things, add their own files, or even delete files from the Google Drive. So be careful when giving someone this level of access. Once you've set the appropriate permissions, just tap on the link icon to copy the link. You can then paste it wherever you need, whether that's in a message, email, or any other app. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel for more tips on using your iPhone and iPad. See you later.